All right, a uh, quick video on how to split a workbook in, made up of multiple sheets into separate workbooks. So occasionally you'll get an Excel file that looks like this where you have multiple worksheets and for any number of reasons you want it or someone else wants it split into multiple workbooks, they want each sheet to be its own file. There is no native feature in Excel that does this but it's pretty easy to do with uh, VBA. It's Visual Basic for Applications. Um, don't be scared if you've never done it before. It's really easy. I've got the code you need in the description below as well as on my website. Uh, but all you need to do, so we're gonna open the VBA editor. So we got sheet one, sheet two, sheet three here. I'm gonna open the VBA editor, hit Alt, hold down the Alt key and press F11. This opens up our VBA editor. Um, it's intimidating and ugly looking, but it's actually not that hard, so let's get rid of this. So you probably won't have that. When you open it, you'll probably look like this. You'll see uh, Microsoft Excel objects, then an object for each worksheet. If we wanted to write code for that worksheet, we would do it here. We wanted to write code for the whole workbook, we'd do it here, but what we actually want to do is a new module. So I'm going to right click at the top there where it says Microsoft Excel Objects Insert Module. That gives me Module 1 down here. And all I'm going to do is copy in my code. So the only thing we have to update here is the path. So the path is where you're going to want the file to go. The easiest way to get that is to open up a file explorer go to the folder you want then up here where it's got shows you your your path here this PC of just click in there gives you that condenses it collapse it all down into a nice looking string copy that come back over to my code paste it in there so there my code is complete all I have to do now is I'm going to bring this up here. So I'm going to bring this folder up here so you can see them pop up in real time. We'll bring it down here to the bottom of the screen. My code's below, so all I'm going to have to do is click this play button. And you'll see my folders, my workbook start popping up. There we go. Are all my different workbooks. We got sheet one, this is sheet one, got sheet two, this is sheet two, got sheet three, oop, sheet three, this is sheet three. So that's all there is to it. Let's go back and look real quickly at the code. So we've got the name of the subroutine. Uh, this is how we would call it in other code if we wanted to build, if we were building a larger application. So then all we're doing here is we're defining a variable, we're declaring a variable, so we're declaring this variable string path as a string type variable, and we're setting the value of the variable to the path where we want these files to go. See test path test folder. Then we're telling it for each sheet in the workbook, you're going to copy the sheet. Then you're going to save it as the file name, which is the path we defined above, and the name of the sheet, plus the extension .xlsx. Then we're going to close that workbook, because otherwise when we get done, we'll have a bunch of open workbooks. And then tell it next. Uh, it's going to do it for each sheet. And then when it's done running through sheets, it ends the subroutine. That's the whole thing. So let's get rid of these. Watch it play through one more time. There are my workbooks again. Sheet 5, sheet 5. 